two solid rocket boosters and the shuttle's three main engines generated more than 6.5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. There is a lot of shaking and noise. At liftoff, it feels like someone has hit the back of your seat with a baseball bat. Wham! What is it like to be in space and look down on the Earth? What's it like to crawl through a little hole and float out into space all by yourself in your own cocoon? I wanted to have a book that was a very personal tone, a very conversational tone. I didn't want it to be a highly technical book. I wanted it to be something that a very wide uh, age group population could pick up and enjoy. We know what happened, but what did it feel like and what did it look like and what, what was that experience all about? I wanted it something that was uh, just like you and me sitting across the table and talking. Jerry didn't succeed in everything he did. He had some setbacks along the way and he had to overcome those setbacks. And how he faced them, how he addressed them, and how he over, overcame them is part of the story. Frankly, after each of the accidents, I had to sit back and think about what we were doing and whether or not I wanted to continue to participate. But I, I think that what we were doing was important enough to do that. He does talk about the, the Columbia and, and Challenger disasters and uh, what was behind that and the problems that, that made that happen. And then he talks about it, you know, very frankly, that there were some problems that, that needed to be addressed. He also talks very much about the future of the space program and where he feels that's going, and he has some you know, real concerns. And when you're pushing the frontiers of science and technology and you're trying to do things that are going to enhance the living conditions for everybody on the surface of the Earth through what you're doing, there are going to be some inherent risk. And along with the printed book, there's going to be an enhanced ebook version and an iPad app as well. And it's going to be tied into the uh, library archive so that there's a website there that they can go to. And we're, we looked at some videos that we're going to include on that site. Some of these tapes are things people have never seen before. Because what Jerry did is take a camera with him as he was walking uh, onto the bus to drive out to the shuttle. And as he drove out to the shuttle, and as he got out of that bus and took the elevator up to the shuttle and got on the shuttle, these are things people have never seen before. I hope they, they see the human side of what it took to become an astronaut and what it was like to be an astronaut and see the whole family, how they respond to it, and also uh, see the excitement that I had as a young person uh, setting goals for themselves, myself, and, and then pursuing those goals.